Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I don't even know how I'm filming this video today because it's so freaking hot. I have the AC on so hopefully you guys can hear me okay and the noise doesn't bother you too much. If it does, please let me know in the comments and I'll figure something out for my next videos. Today's topic has been inspired by the trip to the mountains that I took last week. I grew up in the mountains. Every summer, my family and I used to go hiking, climbing. Every winter, we used to ski. And I think I was only three years old when my dad taught me to ski. So I have so many memories there. When I was a kid, I didn't think it was anything special. That was just what we used to do as a family. But now that I'm older, I do realize the value of that experience and I do see how lucky I have been. That's where my roots are, so I try to go back there as much as possible. So today's video is about nature and the role of nature when you are on a spiritual path. I have uploaded many shorts about nature, showing landscapes, plants, flowers, and my intent in doing that is to help you develop a certain sensitivity, help you connect with Mother Earth and help you see the beauty that surrounds us. Nature is the most sublime expression of God and spirituality. Nature is also a great teacher. And Henry David Thoreau realized that early on in his life. But who is this man and why am I talking about him today? Thoreau was born in 1817 and was an American poet and philosopher. I'm talking about him because at one point he decided to leave the civil life and go to the woods. For two years he lived in a cabin at Walden Pond, close to Concord, Massachusetts. That experience resulted in his book Walden or Life in the Woods, first published in 1854. This work is a declaration of independence, spiritual discovery, and self-reliance. But what made him live a comfortable life in the city and go to the woods? The answer in his own words. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach and not when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. When Thoreau made that choice, he certainly had questions, ideas, concepts he wanted to explore in the silence of the woods. But he was already acutely aware of how precious and holy life is. He felt there was more to it than the frenzy and the stress of the city. I'd say he had a call for authenticity, which is what's missing from many people's lives these days. I want to share with you what Thoreau learned from those two years in the woods all by himself without any comfort or help. And the first big lesson is the value of simplicity, which these days could be translated into an emotional and practical decluttering. So less things less people, less chaos. These days we are all overstimulated and that keeps us running, tired, unaware and totally disconnected from our soul. And that's not healthy. The second big lesson that I want to share with you and that I love is self-reliance. So learning to be your own friend and enjoy your own company doing things by yourself and not depending on others. Isn't that true freedom? Another big one is patience, which implies knowing that big changes take time. So not getting discouraged but embracing the journey because you know the value of your work and you know that it has the potential to change the world. Something that has really surprised me is his reference to meditation. Back then, meditation wasn't as popular as it is these days, and Thoreau was already practicing meditation regularly. He was so incredibly ahead of his time if you think that many of us are learning to meditate in 2023. Isn't that crazy? Last but not least, spiritual awakening. Thoreau thought spiritual awakening should be the focus of your life, because only in spirituality you can find the truth. 
which is usually hidden under layers and layers of mundane tasks and details of your everyday life and routine. Thoreau wrote about this in the 19th century and I find it so modern, contemporary and inspiring. Sometimes I feel the same need to escape from the chaos. Sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time because I'm not investing my energy in what really matters. I get distracted and frustrated. And when I feel like that, I reach out to nature and everything makes sense again. I encourage you to turn off the phone sometimes, get off the internet and sit in nature. Look at the landscape in front of you and just take a deep breath. Nature grounds us, heals us, and reminds us that we just need to do our part the best way we can. The rest is in someone else's hands. Who knows best? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you were already familiar with Roe, and I'll see you next week.